What is going on, guys? Welcome to next week's Gold Forecast. Before we dive in, if you could please like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate that a lot. So we're coming on gold on the monthly time frame. Now, what's the first thing that we can see? Monthly bullish impulse leg there. And what's the first thing we want to do? Mark off the previous monthly candlestick high and low. So we are bullish on the monthly time frame. You can see that here, monthly bullish impulse leg. And we've marked out the monthly trading range based on the previous monthly candle. And these levels here are zones of liquidity. So the higher the time frame, the stronger the potential zone of liquidity here. So a monthly candlestick low will give a stronger reaction, probabilistically, to a one-minute um, candlestick low. There's a lot of liquidity around here. So when price approaches here, we can expect a reaction. So we'd look for price, you know, the reaction on the lower time frame. We look to say buys, or we look to say sells, you know, whatever happens here. And we do the same on the weekly. We go to the weekly time frame now. So we're bullish on the weekly. Look, impulse, retracement, continuation, fit the continuation or failed the continuation. Sorry. And now we have pushed down back to the bottom of this range. You see here, we came very close to that previous monthly low liquidity here. Monthly candlestick low liquidity. We haven't taken it yet. And we've also got a double bottom almost here Look by the look of it there. Lots of liquidity here and lots of liquidity here. And we've also got an imbalance. So if you look here, we've got an imbalance under here. So this is a very strong zone for price to wick into or push into and um, give a very nice reversal confirmation. It's a nice PRZ here. Um, but what we want to do now is want to mark off the previous, well, current week, but tomorrow will be the previous uh, weekly candlestick high and uh, candlestick low. So this is going to be our weekly trading range going into next week. And these are strong zones that we're going to be waiting for a reaction from. So we are bullish. We closed bullish last week. And we are close. How many pips are we from up here? We are close. We're 130, are we? 100 pips. Yeah, about 100 pips away from uh, the previous weekly high. So if price pushes up at the beginning of the week, we can expect a reaction from here. And we've got a higher chance then. If this happens at the beginning of the week, that price will pull back, uh, pull back, you know, somewhere into this range here. She might even wick the liquidity here and then go down, take this liquidity, take the monthly, you know, fill this, and um, then we'd wait to see the reaction from there. But this is because we're closer to this weekly high here or previous weekly high. This is the zone that we're going to be waiting to see a reaction from. Now, if we do not take this out at the beginning of the week, and by beginning of the week, I mean push up, mark it open, and we, we take that out. So if price pulls back at the beginning of the week, so if we pull back down here, somewhere in here, lower time frame confirmation, then we can expect price, and we're looking to buy up, to take out this liquidity. Because that's how price moves. Price moves between levels and liquidity. So if we pull back, beginning of the week, like if we pull back somewhere down here on the new candlestick up and lower time frame, we've got confirmation down here, I'll be looking to buy up and I'll be aiming for this liquidity here. That'll be a TP, and we'll wait to see the reaction. If we break straight through, make structure, I'll continue buys up. If we fake it, Close back in the range here. I'll be looking for sales down. Daily time frame. Where are we here? Big bearish candle. So you see here, look again. That previous weekly high lines up with this daily supply zone as well. So, you know, price needs to fill this gap as well. So look, if we open up, little imbalance here, look. If we open up bearish, push into here, I'll be looking to buy up. I'll be anticipating this liquidity get taken out. I'll be anticipating that we'll push somewhere into this gap. And this gap here will give us the reaction. And depending on the reaction, it's either going to give us a sell confirmation here. We're going to get a lot of orders coming in the market. And we're going to push down, take out this low here. Or we're not really going to get a reaction and price is going to continue going up to these highs. So that's what I'm looking at going into next week. If we go on the four-hour time frame, what have we got? We've opened up this imbalance even more. So we've got a big imbalance here that needs to fill in up here. So I'm going to be looking for something like this. This is what I want to see. The four-hour is bearish. So if we look at the four hour here, big four hour impulse leg there, or bearish leg there, you can see, measure it with the fib, price sitting on the 50%. So again, you can see the 50% zone is that zone where if we make structure above, you know, we've got like this, we've got a higher chance then we're going to continue up, test these highs. If we fail to make structure above, we close back below, then we've got a higher chance we're going to come down and test these lows down here, scoop up more liquidity from down there. So 
it all depends on how the market opens. This would actually be perfect. Like if we look at this now, we've got an imbalance here. So if we pull back, where are we? The tool again. If we pull back into here, that there, very nice. Very, very, very nice looking by there. That's what I want to see. Imbalance fill, boom, we look to buy back up to this high. That'll be a nice trade going into next week. So if we open up bearish, we're trickling down here, and then we open up into this gap, boom, look at that as well. Asia high, previous Asia high and low, very good spot resistance. So you see the confluence here as well. So if we push down here, boom, I'm going to look to buy up from there. If we go on to the one hour time frame, what have we got? So again, one hour bullish. So the one hour, we have flip back bullish. <clears throat> and you see here, previous structure, we're going to take it from there. So here, to there, course. just up and down like this. A little bit ugly on the one-hour time frame. Um, but you can see here, and then we had a new little one-hour leg there, and then this is now a little one-hour impulse leg. You know, going up, well, it's actually from there, but you just swing high to swing low there. <clears throat> so what happens? How does price move? If four is bearish and the higher time frame uh, is bullish and the one-hour flips bullish, for price action to continue, what needs to happen? The four-hour needs to flip back bullish. So this is why if we make structure above here, we've got a high chance that we are going to go and test this high here. Because if the market's going to continue bullish, this high needs to break and then we need to make structure above and then continue up. However, if this zone holds here, price pushes up somewhere into here on the four hour. Then, then we get reaction down. We can sell you know, down to here. We're looking for that four hour continuation. Collect more liquidity here. And um, yeah, so that's it. You see, we go. We've got this like little head and shoulders like kind of pattern forming. For that to be confirmed, you know, it's a little bit ugly. It's like a mix between a head and shoulders and sideways price section there. We have got a shoulder here, and the head does go a little bit higher, which it needs to. And then the right shoulder needs to be smaller than this one to make it a proper head and shoulders. But we need to get a daily candle close, you know, down here to indicate that that trend reversal here has started and uh, we're potentially going to sell off you know somewhere down here but yeah we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so that's it guys hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions let me know um let's just have a quick look on the discord i don't know why it's open actually and this is the first forecast i've done laid down as well a bit of a neck ache now i don't know why i decided to do that uh this morning so this is the public channel here so guys if you're looking to get inside one of the um communities that we've got you can go to blackswanfx.com i've got videos that breaks them all down the funded lab futures on the website so go blackswanfx.com got coupons and stuff in here look um if you come in here the free channel there's buttons all over the website click to join free discord you know you can come here and have a look companion results and the funded lab results the funded lab future results um all of them they're all here so if you see something there that you like um, you can jump in if you've got any questions, message the live chat, or you can message me on Instagram, Ben Alistair FX. And um, that's it, guys. So have a good rest of your Sunday. And if you're not in the Discord, I hope to see you in next week. Bosh!